to this wonderful chapter in Isaiah chapter 40. The Israelites had come to a difficult place. Everything around them seemed negative, depressing, and the future looked bleak as well. Perhaps they thought that God had abandoned them, that there was no hope, that things were not going to change. But then the Lord speaks through Isaiah, his prophet, with these wonderful words. First, he tells them, simply, remember who I am. Remember who your God is. Isn't that the best thing we need to do when we're passing through difficult difficulties? Remember who God is. He says in verse, in verse 28, The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. Our God is so great and so wonderful and so powerful. He's in control of everything. Earlier in verse 15, he said, the nations are like a drop in a bucket. And he weighs the, isl the islands as though they were fine dust. They're just amazing images, aren't they? We're told he will not grow tired or weary like us. He is a tent at all times, and his wisdom no one can fathom. His wisdom is more than we can imagine. He's a God who loves us with his tender love. If we go back to verse 11, it says, He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. And verse 21 says, Do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from you from the beginning? Have you not understand since the earth was founded? Like he's saying, come on, you need to relearn what you already know. Remember who I am, your old creator God, powerful and majestic. Perhaps yourselves, like Julio and I were a few years ago, we found ourselves like stuck in a rut. We found ourselves, we didn't have much vision and things needed to change, but time was ticking on and we didn't see any new things round about us, but God can change things from one day to the next. God changed things for us with a simple phone call that said, why don't you come and work with us? And a new amazing door opened to us. And so Isaiah reminds the Israelites that God's comfort and hope will always be there for us. We find many people when we go to the clinics in a negative place, a depressed place, perhaps they're sick, no money to buy medicines, no money to send your children to school. But as Isaiah brought us these words of hope and comfort, those are the same words of hope and comfort that we want to take to the people in the villages around us as well. And God is a God who comes through for us, isn't he? God came through for us. We can look through the scriptures and see how God came through in many instances for the people. He came through for Moses when he got to the Red Sea. He came through from, for Joseph when he, from, in a conversation of 15 minutes, he came from a, being a prisoner to being govern, uh, govern, governor in Egypt. He came through for Esther when she received the mercy of the king. He came through for Daniel when he closed the lion's mouth. And he'll come through for us too. And he'll come through for those people in Guatemala, living in the villages. So we remember who God is, and then we remember his great promises. His promises that he will give us strength, whatever circumstances that we are facing in our lives, that he will give us his strength. And we can stand on his promises that are true. It's not that he's just going to give us a little bit of extra strength. He's going to renew our strength. He's going to change our strength for his. 
and his presence in our lives that's going to make a difference as he lifts us up to another level. I love the image, don't you, in the last verse. He said, where it says, they will soar on wings like eagles. Those majestic birds, the eagles, one of the most powerful birds in the world. Their wingspan can be up to eight feet. Their eyesight is eight times stronger than ours. Their grip is ten times stronger than ours. They're really powerful birds. And so we know here that when it says we will soar on wings like eagle, that's a very powerful place to be. A few weeks ago, we went for a lovely walk down by the Cheddar Reservation, uh, water reservation place. And it was a beautiful walk. You can walk right around the lake. But watch the seagulls as they were just soaring. And there was one seagull that seemed just to be without moving, but he was still staying up. And I said, look at that seagull. He's, you know, he wasn't frantically waving his wings, trying to, trying to get anywhere. No, he was just soaring on the current of the wind. We don't need to soar on the current of the wind. We want to soar on God's power within us, don't we? And the eagles, they want to rise up above the storms in life. And we can get to that place where we can know God's peace and power, no matter what is happening to us. And uh, so Isaiah continues to remind us to remember who God is, to remember his promise of strength, and to remember as well to do our part. Because it says, those who wait upon the Lord. Not just a sitting around waiting, but an expectancy within us, trusting and hoping in him, reaching out to him, spending time with him in his word, building up our faith, expecting to see new people to reach. There's this, the, there's the eagle comes to a crisis about midway through his life. And suddenly, his beautiful feathers become worn, and his beak becomes very weak, and his talons as well. And so he has to choose whether he's going to live or whether he's going to die. And he goes through a very painful process. He has to pull out his talons one by one and pull out his feathers and knock off his beak. But then something miraculous happens. New, beautiful, stronger talons grow. A beautiful, new, stronger beak grows. And beautiful, new, shiny feathers grow. So that he can soar even higher. Isn't that what we want to? To get rid of old attitudes. Get rid of old things that are hindering us. To become more like Jesus. And to be even better. To reach new level with God to reach new level in reaching out to people in our communities. And so let's, as we take this message of hope and comfort from Isaiah for ourselves, let us start to soar on wings like eagles. Let us start to run and not grow weary. And let us start to walk and not faint as we take God's message to a dying